Alabama Governor Robert Bentley is expected to begin interviewing potential candidates this week to find someone to fill the remaining Senate term of Jeff Sessions. Sessions, of course, has been named to be the next U.S. Attorney General in the Trump administration. At least one of the people the governor will interview is from Lower Alabama, and News 5's Bill Riles caught up with him today. State Senator Tripp Pittman says if the governor should decide to appoint him to fill out the rest of Jeff Sessions' term, he's ready to serve. I tell people I'm a businessman serving in office. He's in a unique situation. He hasn't really crossed swords with Governor Robert Bentley like others in state government, even through Bentley's scandal this past year. Unlike another potential appointee, Attorney General Luther Strange, whose office is investigating the Bentley scandal. Pittman says he's kept his eye focused mostly on the financial and budget matters of the state. I uh, have been in the state Senate now for nine years and have served as budget chairman um, five of those years. And so I understand the challenge of the state's dealing with the federal government. Pittman says as budget chairman, he talks to the governor regularly anyway, and he expects to be interviewed. He says he hoped the governor will consider retaining the same regional representation that existed during the session's Shelby years. Sessions, of course, also from South Alabama. Uh, the fact is, is that while I've lived in Baldwin County since I was 11 years old, and my mother and my wife are both from Mobile, I mean, I was actually born in Birmingham, so I still have family and friends there. But Pittman is not naive to the politics of things. That is, could the governor appoint Luther Strange in hopes of ending or at least stalling the investigation into the governor's affairs? You know, if it were uh, some agreement or arrangement, then it would be um, not only unethical but illegal. Pittman, who says he believes in term limits, had already decided against running again for his state Senate seat. But he says depending on who is appointed to fill out Jeff Sessions' term, he does plan to put his hat into the ring for the U.S. Senate seat in a special election in 2018. Reporting from the newsroom, Bill Riles, News 5.